First John chapter 5, there in verse 10, it says, He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. And if you read verses prior to that, the witness is talking about the Holy Spirit of God. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. So what this is saying is, in order to go to heaven, someone must believe the record that God gave of his Son. He's going to clear it out, spell, spell it out very clearly for us right here, what someone must believe in order to go to heaven. You know, and if someone doesn't believe this record, they're calling God a liar. Like if I ask you guys, you know, do you believe that I'm wearing a blue tie tonight? Yes. And you say yes, you're saying I'm telling the truth. Now if you say, no, Kevin, I don't believe you're wearing a blue tie, I believe you're wearing a, you know, green tie, then you're saying I'm a liar when I said I'm wearing a blue tie. So what we've got to believe, we've got to take God at his word. We've got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. We've got to believe on these words that the soul winner preaches and teaches to someone. The Bible makes this very clear. And it gives the, what the record is in verse 11. It says, And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life. And this life is in His Son. In order to be saved, someone must believe the record. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life. And this life is in His Son. So in order to be saved, someone must believe in eternal life. And they also must believe that eternal life is in His Son. Now, if you have eternal life, how long does it last for? Forever. Last for forever. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about eternal security. I'm talking about once saved, always saved. I'm talking about believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved with a D on the end. Because once you get saved, it's done. Amen. Once you get saved, it's got a D on the end. No chance of you ever going to hell again. You cannot even look at God and say, God, I'm going to go my own way and he'll leave you. Because he said, if we believe not... Yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. He said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. He said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. The Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth upon him. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So if somebody believes on Jesus Christ, they receive the gift of God, which is eternal life for Jesus Christ, our Lord, Romans 6.23. It says these verses over and over again in the Bible, and every time it's talking about life. Every time it's talking about salvation. Every time it talks about the gift of God, it's talking about something that you receive that's eternal that lasts forever. So therefore, in order for somebody to get saved, they must believe that the gift of God, eternal life, lasts forever. That they can never lose it. That they can never do anything to walk out of it. Yeah. And once they get saved, they are saved for forever. So the next time you knock on somebody's door and they say, yeah, I'm 100% sure I'm going to heaven, ask them, well, do you think you can ever lose your salvation for any reason? And they may say yes, or they may say no. But if they say yes, they're believing on Jesus and something else. They're believing on Jesus Christ plus something. They're frustrating the grace of God. Christ is dead in vain to that individual. They need to believe on him so that they can get saved. Because Jesus said, you know, he's the mediator of all men. He's the savior of all men, especially those that believe. He wants everybody to get saved, but they've got to believe on him. That, that's the condition for salvation. So don't, let, don't ever be guilty of going on somebody's doorstep, reading them a bunch of verses, and spending like 15 minutes with them, and just not ever discussing the issue of eternal life. Because if somebody believes on Jesus Christ and they don't change their mind about eternal life and about the fact that they have it for forever, you just wasted your time, you just wasted their time, and you gave them false hope. They did not get saved. Eternal security and soul winning cannot be understated. We're not as many which water down the soul winning. We're not as many which go out and just pray for people. You know, you believe that you're a sinner. Yeah, I believe I'm a sinner. Because everybody, you know, they know they're sinners. Everybody, everybody knows they're not perfect. I mean... And that's like step one. You just get off of that immediately almost, most of the time. You know? You believe in Jesus? Okay, yeah, all right, we'll pray this prayer. Okay, well, I pronounce you saved. It's like a magic trip. Boom, you've accepted Jesus into your heart? Great. Well, I mean, you can accept Jesus into your heart all you want, but unless you change what you believe about that and believe about the fact that you're saved forever, you're not getting saved. So don't ever be guilty of not stressing eternal security on the doorstep. I'll soul win. Don't ever let anybody change your mind about it. Don't let everybody criticize you when you do it. It doesn't matter if someone's back there just like gritting their teeth and you're knocking on somebody's door and you're winning to the Lord. They're gritting their teeth and they, they're just not happy about the fact that you're talking about eternal security and you're making a big deal out of it. Nuts to them. Man. Forget about it. Man. Just keep doing what you know is right, what you know you're supposed to be doing Man. and leave. 
lead people to the Lord, lead other soul winners who are already following Jesus and His steps. He said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Lead them to do that. And it catches on real quick because it makes simple sense that in order to be saved, someone must believe the record. And this record, and this is the record that God has given to us, eternal life. And this life is in His Son. Go to 1 John chapter 5. Verse 10. <clears throat> First John chapter 5, verse 10. He that believeth on the Son of God hath a witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave the Son. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Okay, so we have to believe. Throughout the Bible it says, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. It says, Whosoever believeth should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, I don't know how many times, I mean, in, in John, I mean, it's all believe, believe, believe. I'm not even going to get into the repentance of sins garbage that it is, right. you know, just by believing. Yeah. But what do we have to believe? You know, we have to believe that salvation is a gift. You know, it's uh, for the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You know, and He gives us eternal What is that gift? It's an eternal life. You know, we have to believe that Jesus Christ gives us eternal life. If we, do, if we, believe, if we don't believe that, we're calling God a liar. Right. Just as much as Kevin, if I... You know, if I said, does Kevin have a uh, white Honda, I think he was saying earlier. If he has a white Honda, you know, do you believe me? You know, if you, if you say no, then you're calling me a liar. If you say yes, then you believe. But, you know, if they, if they don't believe he gives them an eternal life, then they're calling God a liar and they're not safe. Okay? If you believe that you can do anything to lose your salvation or that it's not eternal, that I don't care what it is, killing 100 people, killing yourself, if you believe you can lose your salvation for that, you did not believe his record. That's right. And you're not saved. That's right. Amen. That's falling out the window yeah. in churches today. That's falling out the window in soul winning. Now, there's soul winners out there that don't say anything wrong. They're just not going as far as they need to go. Because, yes, it's a gift and everything, but we got people out there that you gotta, you got to be thorough with this. This is not a game. That's right. You know, this is, this is people's lives Amen. and their souls that are going to be dropping into hell. And it's not about numbers, it's about getting people saved. It's about seeing people passing from death unto life, getting born again by the incorruptible seed. Okay, so this is something that's very important, and if we don't realize this, and we're out soul winning, and we're being half-hearted about it, and just having people say prayers, then, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to go to hell. And, uh, first John there, it says, He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And when we believe on the Son of God, what does that mean? People are like, oh, I believe on God. I mean, is it is it just knowing God? Is it knowing, okay, I heard about this man, Jesus Christ? No, it's believing that he died, was buried, and resurrected to pay for all my sin debt. Try Every it, single try bit it. of it, you got all it. at once, he did it. Amen. My yeah. past, present, Amen. and future sins, because the Lord knows I'm going to sin, and sin, and sin, and sin, and sin. Right. But it's all paid for, and I don't have to worry about it. Right. I don't do anything to keep it. <clears throat> And it says, he hath the, hath the witness in himself. What is this witness? The witness is the Holy Spirit, right. and he dwells in me. When I got saved January 29, 2006, Holy Spirit came into me. I'm saved. I'm sealed. There's nothing that can take away my salvation. Amen. That's good. <clears throat> and uh, the next verse there says, and this is the record. Um, let me finish up that last one. He that believes not, not God hath made him a liar. And we're getting into this because he believed not the record that God gave of his son. Those that don't believe the record, and I'm getting ready to get into that next verse, are calling God a liar. Right. They're saying, you know what, God, you promised you would do this next thing that I'm about ready to get into, but, you know, I don't really believe it. I'm going to go my own way. I'm going to go the way of Cain. What is this record? And it says, and this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his son. He promised us eternal life right there. Right. Right. When I believed on him, I had eternal life Amen. forever. That's good. You don't believe in that. You don't believe in eternal life. You're not saved. That's right. Right. There's, there's no bones about it. There's no arguing. God said right here, you don't believe in the record, you're not saved. Right. You don't know me, and my son is not in you. Come on. God dwelleth in me. The witness is in me. That's good. Man, all right.